G'day, Boydo here from Boydo's Tech Talk and today I'm going to take you through how to install a video card. Now, you might be building your own computer or you might be upgrading an existing computer. So, uh, the steps should be fairly similar for uh, whichever of those two scenarios you're uh, currently undertaking. Um, I'm upgrading um, my video cards in uh, my desktop computer. Uh, it served me faithfully for maybe five or six years now. I, f I forget how long I've had it. Um, so I'm going from two GTX 295s to a single uh, GTX 780 Ti uh, video card. So uh, now getting access to your case is going to be, uh, it can be different in uh, most circumstances. Um, I have uh, these screws which I've already removed and I can whoop, just show you there. So those are easily removed without a screwdriver but your case may require you to use a screwdriver. So you'll need to undo those and then you can um, open up the case like so. Now uh, cases can uh, and do vary so this is perhaps a, um, a higher, um, uh, well an upmarket case. So I have uh, the luxury here of um, not having to use screws to fasten in the cards. Um, I can just uh, open them up and slip them out, but you may um, have them fastened by screws once again. So in order to upgrade these two cards, um, obviously I'll need to remove them. Now bear in mind, video cards will get hot. So this machine's been powered down for maybe 10 minutes now but you know they are still warm to the touch so you got to let them cool down before you take them out because you might end up damaging them or you may end up burning yourself if they're rather hot so if they're chock full of dust and they're not dissipating uh, heat uh, terribly well th these uh, fans and the housing on them may get uh, very hot to the touch so be careful now next thing you might need to do is if you have uh, two or more graphics cards you're going to have the uh, SLI bridge installed so before you remove the cards you've got to take that off so it's fairly easy to remove it just pops off like that um, and I'll just put that off to the side and uh, next up we need to remove these power connectors here so they should come off pretty easily there's just a little uh, little toggle on the top that you push down and you'll be able to pull out your um, cord or your plug like so and um, you'll also notice on this card there's a, a connection here for uh, digital audio so that connects to the digital audio header on the motherboard uh, but obviously because these cards will no longer be in this system I will be removing that. Now I believe the uh, more recent NVIDIA cards, let me just work that one out, there we go, uh, actually don't require this anymore, it just passes straight through the card. Um, I'll just need to double check that, but uh, I believe that is the case. So moving on, so we need to now um, undo these cards. So here for me I just need to push down on the on the tab and I'll have to do two tabs here because it's a double height card and they just snap out of the way on the outside like so you might have heard that and uh, I should now be able to gently work it out Ah, now that's one thing I remembered. So, yeah, so with these cards, so they lock into the slot. So you may need to push um, like a little lever on the, uh, on the adjacency of the socket to release the card. So I will be right back once I've achieved that for the first card. Okay, so I'm back. So from this angle you might not be able to see it so well, but what I might just do is uh, I'll tip things forward there. 
Okay. Now, so I have a pen here. Let's see, there we go. So down here, you might just be able to make out a little white uh, toggle or a, a release there. So you've got to push that down towards the card, so this way, uh, in order to release it from the socket. So I've managed to do that, and this lead tech card. Now these cards are a little heavy, but I have managed to free it up. Now you want to be careful. So if you have other devices installed, like my solid state drive up the top there, you've got to be careful not to pull it out and damage uh, like the memory chips and all the other resistors and other electronics and stuff there, because uh, that would be bad. So I'll just find a quick spot for that. Just give me a moment. So I'll repeat the process again for this card, so hopefully you'll get a better view. So this little lever here, so I've got to push that down, well I probably won't need that because I've got enough space. So I can push that down and that will release the video card from the socket. Um, so a little hard to do it one handed, but I will just do it like so. There we go. So, not a lot of force required to remove it. So that's the GeForce GTX 295. Right. So, we've uh, fixed that up. And um, now normally with uh, video cards, you want to put them into the X16 slots. So on my board, those are the blue ones. Uh, the optimal connector will be the first one because that will have all 16 pathways. Um, some boards may not have 16 pathways to the next one. So uh, it may only have eight or it may distribute you know, eight towards each of the slots. So if you only got one, go with the top one. That's, that's my recommendation. So this is, uh, it, it's really just a case of slotting it in and off you go. So um, here's the uh, GeForce GTX 780 Ti from EVGA, super clocked. So you just orient, uh, orientate it properly. Uh, get it lined up on the left hand side. So your uh, plugs and the, well, your sockets are aligned in the uh, headers appropriately. And just keep an eye on on the pins as they head down into the socket. So on the left here, you should be able to see that your uh, hole here aligns with the screw hole on the side, and then it's just a case of gently pushing down, and that should be it. Now this should that should actually pop out the uh, release there. So I haven't got a full connection, but I will uh, sort that out momentarily. So uh, once you've done that, it's a case of uh, just refastening the card. So if you if you're using traditional screws, you can fasten them up using there and you've got to reconnect your power. So here I have my 6 pin and 8 pin power and all I do is put them around the right way like so and this one's got to go this way okay and it appears that this one doesn't have digital audio, so I won't be reconnecting this cable here, so that's fine. So as far as installing the video card, that's it. 
Uh, I just need to refasten uh, these little tabs on the side, like so. And that's in. So it's secure, it's not going to fall out, and we're done. So all I need to do now is power up. Uh, the computer should now detect the new video card. Now typically you should uninstall the, uh, the video card or video cards from uh, device manager if you're using Windows before you proceed just so it doesn't get its uh, knickers in a twist and you know causes all sorts of problems later on. So uh, make sure you do that and then when you get back into Windows it'll detect the new card and install the drivers. Uh, given this is a GeForce card or an NVIDIA card you may want to go to the NVIDIA site and uh, grab the latest drivers there. If you've already got NVIDIA or GeForce experience installed it should take care of that for you so I'll be seeing how that works once I get back into Windows. Anyway that's it for the uh, how to install a video card video. Uh, if you found it handy make sure you th give it a thumbs up. If you've got any questions about how to install a video card or what things you should be looking for and that sort of stuff just leave a comment below I'll try and answer it as best I can uh, but as always Thanks for watching.